A lot of talk during the sentencing for the defense was focused on Tario not being physically at J6, while the prosecution focused on his involvement in planning and that he wasn't there due to a court order from a previous arrest, not by choice. Personally, many of the defense statements didn't feel like they belonged in a sentencing hearing at all. It was things he was convicted of. It wasn't up for debate. Maybe it was targeted more for the pro J6 audience at home, hoping they would fund more for Terrio afterwards. Of course, they're going to be reading updates from media today. An interview Terrio was part of was done with an unallowed third party call. This got brought up. The timing of it being during jury deliberation had me look and try to find it. The only interview I could find during that time frame was during a Twitter space with the Gateway Pundit. If it was a different one and you know about it, let me know. But either way, it was yet again third party calls, like happened at the Freedom Corner protest, being used against J6ers in court. Tario tried to paint himself, in my opinion, as a snitch to the judge and claimed that he didn't even know someone could overturn an election. Pizzola, the proud boy who after getting a light sentence shouted Trump won, was mentioned in connection to Tario multiple times. And Tario seemed to imply he wouldn't do what Pizzola did in his statement about leaving the court after sentencing today. Tario compared Pizzola to George Washington previously and that got mentioned multiple times. The judge, during the sentencing, kept referencing Tario supporting the group with messages before, during, and after. The judge mentions Tario's previous convictions. The judge mentions how Tario took credit for J6, and when asked what is next, he said, we do it again. The judge asks how these sentences need to be a deterrent. Well, talks about it. Then... It sounds like the judge might nail him. Instead of giving him the usual J6 50% off special most J6 defendants are getting from the guidelines. Then the judge starts questioning the 33 years, saying it is used mostly for things like, you know, blowing up buildings or training people to go after troops. Because, of course, somehow those things are worse than trying to completely dismantle the democracy of America at its core. And the judge gives him 22 years and 36 months. The government wanted 33, so it wasn't a 50% off special. He just got, what, about 33% off? 